Okay, I hope you're well. I'm gonna bring you along for another week at school. This week's gonna be slightly different though, because I've technically finished school, as in I had my last two exams yesterday and obviously I don't need to go to lessons. So I don't actually really know what I'm still doing here. A lot of people have actually gone home already, but for some reason I just decided that wouldn't be a good idea. And I don't actually know why. To be fair, I'm actually quite glad I stayed because I feel like I can entertain myself at school for a week. It's pretty fun. There's no work I have to do, I'm just, Huh. Anyway, I actually need to find something to do because I've just been sat in my bed for the past two hours watching TV and I'm already slightly bored of it. I think I'm going to go into town. I might ring a few people, find someone to come into town with me and go and get a coffee. That's a good idea. And a friend. I'm I'm on my way to Beans. It's this coffee shop in the place I go to school and oh my gosh. If you're ever in the town where I go to school, go to Beans. It's sensational. <laughs> Lunch was a bit sad. It's because so many people in my year are leaving and two girls are actually going for good tomorrow. They've got a flight back to China. And so they're missing our leavers trip and leavers ball and stuff, which is, it's quite emotional. We've lived with these people for five years and now I like, I don't actually know. I'm hoping we'll see them again. I'm sure we'll see them again because they're going to uni in England. But still, it's, I don't want to think about it. This afternoon, I've got a choice. It's not really a choice. I'm meant to be going to cricket, but I really dislike cricket and it's kind of hot. So I'm either going to go to cricket or go to the river with my friends and I can't decide yet. Do I just go to the river? Loads of people aren't going to sport because they've got an exam tomorrow or they've gone home. You know what? I've made my decision. I'm not going to go. Do you think they're bulls? No. Go look. Cow. <laughs> cow. What do we do? Like yeah. Away. yeah. <laughs> She's f***ing fearless. Oh my god, so gross. <laughs> so gross. So gross. Right. Just go, just jump. Go on, Alice. Jump. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh. You look like a little fishy. I know I'm scared that something's gonna come up and just eat my ass. <laughs> My afternoon was actually incredible. It was just so relaxing. We went down to the river and just sat and chatted and listened to music for like four hours. I was getting a bit conscious though that I was burning because that's the first time I've actually been in the sun this whole year. And I've got quite sensitive skin when it comes to the sun. So, you know, when you just get a bit uncomfortable, I was like, guys, we're gonna have to go, I'm burning. But I came back and I don't actually think I burnt, which is pretty lucky, but the sun has made me really tired. Is that just me? I'm pretty sure everyone gets this. But when you spend all day in the sun, you just get like so drained and tired. So tonight, I think I'm just going to get into bed. Oh my God. I've not made my bed. So I'm, I'll make my bed and then I'm just going to get in and watch film. But I'll see you in the morning. It's like 10 to 12 now and I've just got back into my room. It was actually a gut-wrenching feeling. Is that too dramatic? No, no, it really was. I walked back into my room. I basically went and spent from about nine o'clock until 11.45 in the six room. I just went for like a quick check because I was bored. Ended up staying for like two hours and came back and my bed hadn't been made. I literally just wanted to just come back in the room and just jump into my bed and it hadn't been made. So I just had to spend like 10 minutes making it. And oh, you know what? It's made now. So I'm just gonna shut up and go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I decided to actually bring up my breakfast upstairs this morning so I could have breakfast in bed instead of eating it in the dining room, which I think is actually pretty genius idea. This breakfast, I'm telling you, is probably gonna be one of the things I miss the most about this school. Like, it is just sensational. Oh my gosh, this is really crystallized. I used to mix it all in this little bowl and it would just go everywhere. And why? These have always been on offer. I was just being stupid. Oh, all right, let me just mix this all up and then get into bed. This is actually such a good idea of mine. Why Why have I not thought of this? You know, I suppose we're not really allowed to do this, but there's literally no one left in my year at school that my husband's just, just kind of just being like, yeah, you know? And I'm loving it. Right, let me have a taste test. I mean, I've tasted this every single morning for the past year, but you've not tasted it, so. Mm, sensational. It's almost worth coming to this school just to get this breakfast. Like, I don't even know if you can get the granola anywhere else because I went to the kitchen and she asked them to take a picture of the granola for me because I'm going to miss it so much. And it kind of looked like something you buy in bulk, you know? I'm going to have to find it. That's my mission. Anyway, I'm going to watch my film. I haven't decided yet. I'm so indecisive. It's literally the most annoying quality ever. I, it takes me about an hour to find a film and then 
once I found a film, I actually just like, I'm so bored of looking, I don't even want to watch it anymore. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do and I'll see you later. It's like 10 now and I'm going into town because me and my friend Alice are going to get our ears pierced. Well, I don't actually know if I'm getting mine done, but she really wants her cartilage done. And there's this new piercing shop. It's not really a piercing shop. It's like a vintage clothes shop. They've got a little piercing parlor at the back of it. By the way, the school don't like piercings. We're not actually allowed to have our ears pierced at school, but we basically left and we're literally leaving the school in a day. So that's why we're doing it. Like, don't think that you know, in our free time, everyone just goes to this shop and gets piercings. Like, it's really not like that at all. <laughs> well, that was really annoying. We went all the way there and they were like, sorry, we don't do piercings on Wednesdays. It's a piercing shop. Why does a day of the week make a difference? Really annoyed me, but oh well. We made the most of it. Instead, we went to Dexter's, which is this like, restauranty thing in town and our whole year were there i wasn't really expecting that many people to be there but they literally went from their exam to dexter's so everyone was like really happy and it's actually so much more fun now because i don't know for the past two days not everyone's been finished so it's just been a bit like annoying for everyone else when other people are having fun and they're not do you know what i mean but today it has been so much fun this afternoon i actually need to put on all this sun cream i'm running really really late people are waiting for me in sanderson which is another house we're all going down to the river and oh, i cannot wait yesterday was so much fun and like everyone's gonna be there today so it's gonna be way more fun and oh, i'm so excited i'll update you later Oh my gosh, I am literally so tired. I spent from two until seven by the river. And I think it's the sun. Yeah, it's the sun. It just keeps wearing me down. It makes me like exhausted when I come back inside. Also my hair, I'm sorry, but what has happened to me? Like it looked normal earlier, got in the water and now look at it. It's fine. I'm in the shower and tonight I actually mean it. I'm getting straight into bed watching. If I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to watch a film. My eyes are literally shutting on me right now. I'm probably just gonna shower and get into bed and go to sleep. So I'll see you in the morning. Can you hear that alarm? That's an intruder. I'm kidding. Someone probably just got up to go for an early morning walk. It's like 6 a.m. I have no idea why I'm awake. I think it's because my room is like a sauna. It's actually unbearable. Oh, right. <laughs> Shut up. It's now like eight and I need to go down for breakfast. I wasn't actually gonna go down today but I woke up at five, so I'm ravenous. You know that the, when you wake up early and buy breakfast, you literally are just like, well, that's me now. Oh my gosh, this is my last breakfast at school for like two weeks. I'm going to Beans again. I honestly cannot wait. Those vanilla rice lattes, like, I don't actually know what I'm going to do because the Starbucks ones are just not on the same level at all. They just don't, they just don't taste very nice. So I'm, I'm really going to miss them. But yeah, it's really annoying. The school didn't like how we were going in in our own clothes yesterday. So they're making us all dress up in school uniform to go into town, which is a little bit annoying. But oh well, I will see you once I've got my drink. I'm so excited. After my coffee, me and Alice actually ended up going to the piercing place again so she could get her ears done. The guy puts a needle in her ear, just like one of the loads. And honestly, it looked like she'd been stabbed. Blood just spurted all down her dress. If that was me, I probably would have freaked out. She was like wearing this really, really nice dress and it was just dyed red. Sorry, that's actually really graphic and disgusting. But anyway, after that, I just came back to her house, had lunch. And now I'm going to her house because she's having a party. I actually cannot wait. I need to shut up though, because I keep wasting time and I really have about... 10 minutes to get all my stuff together and go. It's been a few weeks since I was actually at school and I was meant to be going back in like, I think three days, but I've just got an email basically saying we're not allowed to go back to school, which is really, really, really weird. As in, that was uh, my last night ever at school. That was my last week at school. <gasps> it's so weird. I'm also kind of sad about it because everything's been canceled, like Leavers Ball and all of that. So I've got no proper ending, which kind of sucks. But it's fine. I think I'd be a lot more sad if I didn't have my leavers trip tomorrow. And also, I'm going on walk to Rome, which is a school trip over the summer. So I'm with like, all my friends then. It's so weird. I don't know. So I hope you actually liked that last week. I'm so glad I stayed. You know how I was contemplating whether to leave or to stay? I stayed. And I couldn't be happier about it. Oh my god, I'm never getting my breakfast again. I need to actually stop for a make myself sad. Like, I know this sounds kind of weird, but actually I don't think it is weird because I literally lived there for five years. I really, really liked school. 
I actually really liked it. I don't know, just the people, the actual school was just a really nice place and everything that they did. And I'm never going back. It's fine. I'm going to return next year because I've got loads of friends in the year below in my house, which I'm, I'm just going to have to go back and take them out for lunch or supper on a Saturday because, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I need to stop before I get sad about it. Anyway, I'll see you soon.